In this video, we will discuss reporting on parcels. If you'd like to follow on with this video, please open the file reportingonparcels.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working With This Dataset video. Civil 3D provides many tools to reporting your parcels in many different ways. Let's first look at the Prospector tab and look at some of the ways that you can view your parcel information. In the site where the parcels exist, expand the site, and then you have the parcels category. If you'd like to actually report on the site itself, you can right click on parcels and go to properties. This will analyze the outer lying parcel. To report on individual parcels, you can simply select them, right click, and then export to Linux ML or export analysis. When you click on export analysis, you need to provide a destination file. I'll export this first property. Note the options available. You can do a map check, an inverse analysis, process segment order counterclockwise, however you need to do it. I'll click OK. And then in Notepad, you will get the report. You can then, of course, print this out, copy and paste it somewhere else, and so on. One of the other ways that you can report on parcels is through the toolbox. We'll expand the Reports Manager, and there's a parcel category. There are many kinds of reports that you can do for your parcels. Let's go ahead and just do a simple area report. Activate this by double clicking it. You are then prompted to select a parcel or parcels. The buttons above here toggle on and off the different Civil 3D objects. I'll simply collapse all my objects, and then I can simply expand the objects I want to report on. So we'll toggle on all my parcels. Click OK. You'll need to save a file. And then in your default browser, you'll get all the parcels and their area in acres and in square feet. There's also a meets and bounds reports that you can select by simply double clicking this. Note that you can also pick from the drawing. So let's go ahead and do that by simply clicking that button. And I'll pick a few parcels here. Right click when you're done with your selection set. And these will automatically get selected, as you can see here. I'll click OK. Save my meets and bounds reports. And again, in your default browser, the report will appear. Now let's look at a different kind of report. This report is actually a program. The parcel map check report, I can double click here. And notice how you get a dialog box. So this is a program that was developed by Autodesk. And it's very similar to the export analysis function that we saw in the prospector tab. You can toggle any of the parcels you want on and then simply click on create report. This will then generate a parcel map check report for all of the parcels that you had checked. And then you could, of course, right click, select all, and then copy and paste it out as you need to.